Hi there. It's Rugby World Cup time. The Rugby World Cup 2019 is going on for a while and I thought we could do a fun experiment. I want to get live points table by pool into my Excel workbook. So this in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how we can use Power Query to get live web data into Excel or to Excel. So the first thing that you want to identify whenever you want to get any sort of live data into Excel or Power BI is you need to look at where is this data. So I'm going to just open up Google here and then simply search for RWC19. This would give me a couple of websites, Rugby World Cup 2019 and then 2019 Rugby World Cup Wikipedia page. So we could go into one of these pages. I'm going to open both of these so we can look at what's available. The official website of Rugby World Cup, rugbyworldcup.com, does have all the data, but it is uh, slightly inconvenient to process it. For example, if I go to the pools page, I can see the points by individual pools. So pool A, B, C, and so on. For example, pool B where New Zealand is, is at currently the second place in the pool and we have one more game to play, right? Uh, while it does have the data, it is actually not everything is visible by default. So you would need to kind of select them to see that. Whereas here on the Wikipedia page, if I go to the pool stage, you could see that the points tables are listed one after another, everything is there on that page. So for the sake of simplicity, if you want to establish a connection, you want to really get it from the Wikipedia page. The disadvantage of this method is because Wikipedia pages are maintained by volunteer force all over the world, uh, they're not technically live. When the match is over, uh, eventually the result will be updated here by somebody. So there may be a lag. Whereas if you go here, if you will immediately see the, for example, there is a match happening between Scotland and Russia. Uh, I'm, I think they're in pool A. And as, as it happens, the results get updated here. So this is uh, the, the advantage versus disadvantage. We will try to go to the Wikipedia page uh, because it's uh, we are not really trying to build something that is fairly complicated all we want is the points table and maybe once a day you can refresh this so you want to copy the url you don't need the hashtag pool stage because that will just take you to the pool stage section of the web page and then go to excel go to data get data from other sources web so here mind you i'm using power query feature of excel uh, if you have an older version of Excel, you won't be able to access Power Query unless you install the free Power Query add-in from Microsoft website. But if you are using Office 365 2019-2016 Excel, then you already have Power Query. So we'll get uh, click on from web and then paste that URL, uh, wikipedia.com or .org wiki 2019 Rugby World Cup. And then when you click OK, Power Query will establish a connection to the web page and then it will show you all the tables that are available on that page. If there is a structured table like this is a structured table. If there is a structured table on the web page, then it will come here. Whereas if there is some sort of unstructured data, for example, you want to access that paragraph within Excel, then you won't be able to see that through the navigator window. You would need to do a little bit more of power querying to get that. Okay. We can see, for example, if I go to pool A, I can see the pool A table. Pool B would be that table. Pool C is this table and pool D is this table. So the data is there. We do need all the four tables. So I'm going to say select multiple tables and then say pool A. Uh, I believe that's pool B that we want and then pool C and pool D. So all the four pools are there. You may be able to establish the connection and then get the knockout stage matches as well. I believe currently the uh, there is uh, no mention of what happens uh, in the knockout stage because 
the pool stages are still going on so there's no point connecting to that so once all of these four are selected we could straight away load but i'm going to just go and uh, transform this data uh, in an earlier version of excel that may be called edit but uh, eventually you will come to a page like this that has all the pool information now if you are familiar with power query you already know how to deal with this but uh, if you're not uh, what we have is four tables and we just want to combine everything into one giant table that has all the points uh, and then pool as a column so you could filter or sort and, and and look at it rather than looking at five different tables okay so we got all these four tables and then uh, you could see that there is some bit of problem with this uh, formatting like the first row is unnecessary uh, in every everything right so you could do delete these rows one at a time but uh, that's kind of not needed instead what we will do is we will delete them uh, in, a, in a different way so we have all the four tables and then uh, we can go to home and from here append queries as new and here we can uh, select tables and then we can append them stitch them together so we don't we want to do it for all the four so i'll select three or more tables and then i'll simply add b c and d so all the pools are here and then when you click ok you'll simply get a giant table that has all the pool information um, like this now what we want to do is we want to get rid of anything that is uh, these kind of in between rows that are not really data they are the headers that should not be there so one simple way is because it's it's the number of games played it would be a number so anything that's not a number should be gone so i can right click i can say change type to whole number and then i can uh, right click again and then say remove errors and that will pretty much get rid of that we could also uh, for example remove any bracket information e means eliminated they are no longer and then q is automatically qualified at that stage uh, into the next round um, as it stands uh, england and france have qualified to the quarterfinals whereas uh, quite a few countries have been eliminated um, this group is still wide open like south africa new zealand italy anybody could qualify um, and then that's it that's the data you can go and apply some formatting to all of these other columns I think these are all numbers so we would be able to simply right click and then say change type to whole numbers and then uh, I think there is a negative number here that's why it's probably not working um, yeah it's negative 28 but it's not negative sign it's like a web hyphen sign that's kind of messing up the matters for us so if you select that you can so one option is you could also replace values and then you can just say uh, replace that with the negative sign and then if you convert uh, change type whole number uh, this more here i believe some spaces are there So when you establish a connection to a web page and you're getting the data, this, these are the kinds of issues that you need to be uh, aware of. Uh, I, I think, uh, yeah, I should probably sort that out and then we can, yes, uh, we can see this. And then you can add uh, same step for others. All of these need to be whole numbers as well. Uh, I can simply say, change type whole number <clears throat> and then power query will add these things to the previous step uh, rather than making a new step and once this is all done this is the final data that we want so final uh, pool table and then uh, we can just say close and load to and then only create connection click ok so all of these five tables will be added as connection i can click on pool table load to and then say i want this as a table in a new worksheet and bingo we get our pool table here this is a live table so it's it's technically not live live but it is live table and if i want fresh copy of the data i can just refresh it will go back to wikipedia and then bring the data merge everything together and then give me the updated ones so this is how you can use power query to establish 
a live connection uh, and, and get web data into Excel. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you like this technique. Talk to you again next time. Bye-bye.